Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. It's John and Kimmy. Hi. We're back with more Danganronpa Part 2. Woo! You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear, slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Oh no. Okay, and now we're in chapter one. Yeah. To survive. <sighs> so the chapters in this game are pretty long. It'll probably take us a couple of videos to get through each chapter. Oh yeah. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. <laughs> right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Oh my god, calm down. They all take themselves way too seriously. I mean, it is an anime. Well, most of them. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Whoa. Huh? Jesus, if you have time yell about to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. That's right, Mondo. However, Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What is this <sighs> tongue pierced? Maybe. And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But, but, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably the best way to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Oh, you may notice that we've swapped positions. And that's oh, yeah. because we noticed in the first video we were, like, looking off to the side yeah. when we were reading. So now we we're going to be that. looking at the screen when we're looking at the screen. Production value. Woo! For the win. Shit. Alright. So then... Fine. Then let's hurry up and tr check out the stupid rules already. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Click. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. No. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Also not possible. Yeah. <laughs> Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Uh-oh. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. By death? By death. Oh, okay. I don't know. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. I feel like there could be a better term for that. That's weird. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the kind of what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there would be a respawn waiting for him. Get it? He's a nerd. He plays video games for oh, respawn. Oh, is that, is that it's what it is? a reference. Oh, yeah, it's okay. a reference. okay. I didn't get it. So, like, first-person shooters, when you die, you respawn. Oh. Yo. Ooh. I... 
Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... so what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student who becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. He's totally American Psycho. <laughs> but why? My pain is constant and sharp. Yeah. <laughs> and I have no hope for anyone. Or what? I can't remember what the. I don't remember the line, but yeah. yeah. Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all of that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? Oh, good question. There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight, these two. I know they're very intense. <laughs> Looks like they're about to get a, to a fist fight, but they're just they like do. trying to organize. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. Of course you will. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Uh, you? Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst to make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, oh, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? He's... The worst. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> That's very good. But, but. Uh. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass! I think that's so weird. He should have had like the for that one. So stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. Oh, I wish we had had a picture of like a fist, like right in the face. Yeah. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. Right? My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. That's an intense punch. But before it finally cut out completely... Forever. First murder. Yeah, first <laughs> <It's> murder. <awesome. laughs> 
And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Hell. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Oh, I got you. Not yet. <laughs> All in due time. Oh, okay. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Truth bullets? You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review your transcript. Oh, that's nice. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. It basically shows, you know, the dialogue log. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh my god, there's so many things to click on. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? It's supposed to look sharp. Yeah. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah, it's not flush with the wall, so it's not a window. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Hmm. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Oh, hey. You should take it with us. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. He's a smart kid. I know, he takes forever. He's uh, picking up on those context clues. Yeah. Yeah. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. In the trash can? That's where you're looking for a trap door? A right. trap door. Oh, we got a Monokuma coin. Oh. I forgot you can make money in this game. Well, not money. Not real money. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Except that it looks incredibly uncomfortable. Okay, so there's a couple things over here we can... This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. I'd be upset about that. Yeah, me too. Would the key, oh hello. Hello. Would the key work on it? I don't know. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Ugh. Erg. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says, announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. I'm not gonna do it. That's I'm fine. Gonna, That's fine. It's Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Wow, they really don't trust these kids. Yeah. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. But not in the guys. Yeah. Okay. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. I know. I... The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Whoa, why are the girls getting... Oh, here we go. Okay, for the boys, the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Okay. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. So why does his bathroom have a lock on it, then, if only the girls do? Very odd. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. We should leave, right? Yeah. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... What do you think he's going to say? The room in which I'm staying, my dorm room, my sleeping quarters, my new home and my this new room life must and my be, new school with my new friends. I bet he's going to say, this room must be my room. And it's going to go 
Oh yeah, I had the. <laughs> uh-huh. Thank you. Wow. This is my assigned dorm room. So, I really like this visual novel, but sometimes it's just like, yeah. get there faster, please. Yeah. We're like we're. You you're don't constantly, need all of this. you're constantly waiting for the game to catch up to you, you know. But it's, it's so good though. It's not like the story itself is good, not this part. It's not but... like the letter. That's all I'll say. Oh, the letter. I shouldn't have brought it up. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. You know, I do have to say earlier in the last video, you said that I never watch your videos. I watched all of the letter. All of it. And I could have said no. I also watched all the cat lady, which was really good. She watched two series uh, over seven years. I've watched other videos. It was just I always wanted to talk to you and you would never answer me because it's a recorded video. When I could just like look down the hallway and be like, oh, John. Yeah, that's why none of my friends watch my videos. I try. Yeah. I watch your streams sometimes if I'm not streaming. Let's move on, shall we? So the answer is that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? Let's go find out. There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Oh my god. Just the game gets so good, though. Yes. Once you get through all the tutorial bullshit. Yeah. And you start getting into the meat of the game. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. That's him rushing. But there was someone waiting for me there. <gasps> It was like something out of an old TV show. Oh. Wham. Wham. Ah! Ah! She said that. Oh. Really close to an upskirt, but not quite. Hey! Oh. Sayaka? Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Sorry about that. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you make it sound worse, you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I actually built up some pretty good mu uh, muscle jumping up and down on the stage. That's good then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto? Oh, uh, Makoto. I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Th thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um, well, actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Look how determined she looks. She's like, hmm. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see, after you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together, uh, so we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Oh, we're in first person mode. Another walking simulator, am I right, so guys? All the doors have signs that say people's names on them. Yeah, so here's Kyoko's room. Here's our room. Here's Sayaka's room. We're surrounded by ladies. Yeah. Toko. Chihiro. We Hina, are in the hallway of girls. Sakura, or Sakura, Leon, Hiro, Hifumi. Hifumi. Right, so there are some dudes, but this whole side is girls. Yeah, and the guys are all- Oh, oh Celeste. Right, Celeste. Junko. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of girls, I, I guess. Biakia, Mondo. So Mondo's right across the hall from us. Oh, great. And, uh, Oh, wait, which Taka. one's Mondo? Hairdo. Hairdo. Pompadour. He's cool. Oh, the bike gang leader. Yeah, bike gang guy. Bath. 
can't go into the bath. Looks like I can't get in there. Thank you, Makoto. Alright, let's go into the dining hall. We don't have time for this. We gotta move. We gotta get things underway. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Is she gonna murder us? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. She said it. Yeah. <laughs> she tries to make it a thing. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. <laughs> oh my god. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, once you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Reaction! Ah, you've gone ahead and used it already. Well, that's just wonderful. They're make sure so you keep it in mind. Huh? They're so encouraging. I know. Tutorial- mystery tutorial man. Right. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. I still- every time the green words pop up, I immediately go into, like, 50s announcer voice. I know. <laughs> um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? What? Um, you were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Okay, let's talk to the Sayaka. Why can't we see trees outside? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, Makoto? Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Do you want to react? Yeah. Which one? Uh, let's react to I want to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you at maybe class two? Yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Oh yeah, feel free to move the microphone closer. Yeah, no, I was. I've already been Oh, uh, okay. That. Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. What? We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, are you okay? Oh yeah, um, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. We do, believe me. We, yeah, we trust do. me, we yeah. know you're fucking boring, dude. You're the worst. You're so boring. Aww, what are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. What a sap. He really is, though. Her smile was the nicest smile I have ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah, talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. N no, I'm really not. I'm not nothing at all compared to you ultimates. 
<laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep. I'm your assi assistant now. Assistant? Assistant. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it just gets me pumped up. That Dude. always looks so violent. When I that's know. like... <laughs> it just... <laughs> yeah, like, oh. yeah. Calm down. Go back to your room. Gets me pumped up. Okay, Makoto. Great. Cool. TMI. Yeah. Hey, um, I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing, showing up soon. Almost like he'd timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Are you ready for this? Hey! Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Yeah, we did. Oh, unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Oh my god. I hope he gets taken out first. <laughs> well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> and soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. I'm going to start giggling like that at you in the dark. Please don't. In the middle of the night. Thanks. <laughs> well, good thing it's like six in the morning or whatever. Evening. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. It looks like you're thinking every time okay. that loading thing it looks like appears here. behind your head. Time to start the meeting. <laughs> look, they're all here. It's look about time. Let's see, look who's by themselves. Byakuya and Toko. Hmm. Everyone else is at the table, right? Hmm. And look who's sitting next to uh, Makoto. We got Mondo and Taka. Interesting. Yeah. Where did our... Oh, there she is. Our new assistant, Sakia. Yeah. So, Sayaka. Whatever. Let's all go I'm gonna do that all sure the time. Found out during our respective so. investigations. Don't talk over the cutscene. I didn't know you clicked the button. She's talking over the scenes. On also, I will mispronounce everyone. There's gonna be a comment that's like, Kimmy's talking over all the cutscenes. Yeah. Constantly talking yeah. over everything. I can't even hear the game. They're gonna have to get over that right now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you want. You want solitude, absolute silence while the game's going? Just get it yourself. Yeah. 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 That's not what we're here for. Yeah, we're here to provide the entertainment. We're here to insult the hell out of it. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not here to insult this game. We're here to have a good time. We are here to have a good time. And a she good might time be here we're to having. She might be here to insult the game, but don't worry, Dengen Rumpers. I'll keep her in check. All right, all right. They all Did know you like what that? you do. Dengen Rompers. That was my. I, I just kind of came up with that. I'm. I'm. Gonna okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Wait. Hold on a sec. I don't know why those three lines were voice acted. <laughs> they were picking the most random ones to voice act. Yeah. What are you talking about? What about, um, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Sorry. <laughs> She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbling, strangling, budgeting, crushing! Stabbling? Stabbing, string... <laughs> I, I went straight back to that babbling line. Stabbling! Stabbing, stabbling, stabbing <laughs> strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, it, how you do it doesn't matter! We don't need to... Read the flashbacks. You say that now. This is my show. Fine. You the boss. <laughs> the boss. Oh boy. We have a good relationship. <laughs> I know it may not seem like it. 
You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. There is no you can <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god. My voice will pierce. Is it possible? Jokes. Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Surely. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Oh my god. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she'd be late. On most unbecoming personality trait. Oh, He's the I ultimate moral him compass, him remember? So Come much. On. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy Hope Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. You wanna try that again? <laughs> now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Good job! That was crazy. Stupid. Uh, Makoto? Actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Why did you say anything? <laughs> You're gonna be saying that a lot. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Um, Makoto, actually, let's wait until everyone's talked before we do. <laughs> you know. Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Oh my yeah, I know. god. Look at all the people we can talk to. Why is she purple? Because we've reacted to her? No, because she has a reaction for us to... Oh. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but you see, Biakua, Biakia, Biakia, and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Do you want to react? Um. Do we want to react to Biakua or Taka? That's what I was asking. The first one. Asshole face. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. <laughs> I wish we could go back and react to the other one. We can. I spent some time. Oh, oh. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and. Listen to me. There, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name pre precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. Oh my god, why did and it take plus. so long to figure that out? It confirms it. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproofed. <laughs> um, Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there are only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' room dorms. Huh? Rooms dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have that than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that. That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Okay. So we can actually talk to her again and not react this uh, time. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you so see. like is that? Looks like Leon, Hero. It looks like Junko. Leon, Hero, Junko, and Chihiro Sorry. all grouped up together. That's right. My character. Sorry. <laughs> Fight. You did a beautiful Sayaka. 
Junko's talking right now. Oh, we went all up and down at school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. It looks fucking unhinged. I like to think that she just keeps you repeating see. the same thing every time you look at right. it. Right. Okay, this so we is... got... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. Which one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. <clears throat> I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. I like that audio clip. He's like, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> this is another time. Dude, shit. Dude, shit. Oh, shit. It was hard as like metal. Oh my god. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> anyway, like if, we're gonna, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I was reading. I'm sorry. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. I, okay. When I do her voice, I have my lips out like this. Um, you see. Her voice is kind of more. Yeah, her voice is throat. rough. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying not to do that because it just rips my throat up. Let's just do. I think this is the last one. Let's see. Uh -oh. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, c c come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as th thin as your body. You m make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I I don't even know how to react. Can you say something so awful to someone you just... Oh, how can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Right? Hey, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. <laughs> hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Okay, so then what? Um, I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. 
much. Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? Right? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, mm -hmm. at least that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You, you saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Yeah, moral compass, bitches. <laughs> He's not the moral compass. Hey, I know. I'm just saying. Never mind. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. Dude, shit. Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Here we go. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. I don't think it's... Okay, well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears... I'm oh, sorry. It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What, what the... Where'd you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important... Never mind that! What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. All right, Hero. We need to talk about this. Aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? Yeah. I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I would have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Why ectoplasm? You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why, why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you b been listening? Looking around was a to total waste of time. We d didn't find out. A w we didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have n no idea what's g going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> You didn't have to go and say that! 
I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. Don't even joke about that. Um, everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... <laughs> There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Wow. It's very, like, Machiavellian right? of her. It's like a something you would put in a fortune cookie. Like a really serious one. It's a very one. threatening fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> they should make threatening fortune cookies. You won't survive the night. It'll be the Halloween version of fortune cookies. Yeah, that's a cookies. misfortune cookie. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? It's going to show us just in case we forgot. Oh, nighttime is from 10 to 7 a.m. Okay. Anywhere other than a dormitory. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school reg <laughs> <laughs> The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night, if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. Preventative measure. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I... I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth <laughs> it's like the little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seems so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Uh, um, well then, let's say we call an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we just have to give up. That's all fine and good for t t today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Our only option. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Whew. I know, right? That was a lot. 
Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? <clears throat> oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Let's check it. Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. <laughs> Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Nayagi! This is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack! What does that mean? In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. This is magic awful awful attack. All right. Wait. So the reason it won't open is because it isn't because it's locked. The door just doesn't fit. Hey. Um. Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' room don't have locks. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? No. <laughs> Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's why I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob, lift the door up while I pull. Okay, thanks. You don't have to passive-aggressively hand me the water. No, it just, it sounds rough, so I'm trying to help. Here. Fine. No, that's fine. Here. I'll take it You'll back. You'll need this. Trust me, you need this. <sighs> you sound like shit. Why don't you have a drink of water? Go ahead, keep playing. It looks like you're trying to choke me. <laughs> when I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> I do want some water, though. Oh! Oh, did you want some water? Oh, interesting! <laughs> Is that better? You want to do it? Oh, is your throat hurting? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Bye bye Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! I sound like Junior Asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm do. like evil Junior. Yeah. Hey, hey, wait! You sound less annoying than Junior Asparagus, though. Somehow. I do? Yeah. Yeah, well, no, it's man, probably because like I'm screaming. Voice. What? Less annoying. Oh. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Yeah. Junior Asparagus sounds really annoying, though. Also, that's from VeggieTales, in case you don't know what we're talking oh, about. Oh, you ruined it. You can cut it out. We don't make cuts on this channel. Don't we, though? Damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors nighttime. to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, I have my own water. I forgot. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thanks for letting me have some of your water. Yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs> Do what I can for you, sweetie. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. He's speaking this. Right. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. I feel like that's not how this would feel like. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? 
It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. But guess what? We're going to have Monokuma Theater. Oh, that's right. This is his dream, right? In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I... Wait, this is as Monokuma, right? Yeah. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. It feels like he doesn't approve of my attempt at doing this voice. <laughs> He's like trying to correct me. He's trying me. to correct you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good time to end the video, though. Yeah, I just realized that. Sorry. Can I... Can we... Can we save here? Uh... System? Save! We can! Yes. Yes, I do wish to overwrite. All right, cool. So, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying Danganronpa so far. They're still kind of establishing the world, so things are moving a little slow at the moment. Yeah. But uh, this is this is the type of game where like nothing happens for a while, and then shit gets crazy all at once, and then nothing happens for a while, and then shit gets crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So. But the crazy parts are very worth the non-crazy parts. And she hasn't even seen like the really crazy shit. I only saw she a only little saw, like, crazy shit. The first shit. chapter and a half. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Hope you guys are enjoying, and we'll see you in part three. Think critically. Good job.